All right, stop my bathroom. I'm gonna rip this claw, um, jacuzzi out and put a claw foot tub in and do tiles on the floor. As you can see, you know, it needs it. Tiles on the wall. I'm gonna extend the shower out to here and have the claw foot tub in there. All right, I'm gonna start the demo. All right. Gotta disconnect the pipes. They don't have no shut offs on them. So I'm gonna have to shut the whole house down. Cap those real quick. And then, uh, so see, my wife went crazy with the crowbar. She hates the jacuzzi so much. And it's like 10 minutes of work. She's yelling and screaming. I don't know, I'll be back. All right, so we're an hour into it. Do yourself a favor. Break off the plaster of Paris. It'll make it at least 80 pounds lighter. I cut the pipes. Saw the caps on it. <coughs> cut the drain. <coughs> now I'm gonna cut this up. Get it out of here. <sighs> gonna keep the pump. I can use it for something. My fucking can't breathe in here. You worry about videotaping it. I don't even think I did it, you dumb. <laughs> Alright, here we are. Here's where we are. I mean. Yeah, it's ready to go out. Wait for Danny to come home. My son carried out. All the rest of the rubbish is out the window. I'm doing it in stages, so. Then, uh, do this, and then... Figure out where the claw foot tub is gonna go. Do all the plumbing. Make the shower bigger. And we'll go from there. All right, so I'm into my about fifth hour. Needs a drain and the hot and cold for the uh, claw foot tub. Patched up the hole there. It's another hole. What was that hole for? Oh, because I had to cut this whole piece out to get it out, but I broke a piece there, so I fixed it. You know, I put the outlet there, which works off the switch for the jacuzzi. I don't know, I'll use it for something. Lights outside or something. And I ran the hot water line for the bidet. Got papers wrapped around it to make sure nothing leaks. I don't know if it's leaking or not. Because those are just, those are gas pipe caps on copper. Alright. Now today I'm going to try to move this wall over to the 4 on 48 uh, inch mark. Because the shower is going to be 48 by 48. All right, that's what we're up to. Can't do everything because the shower. I moved the wall. There's the old shower. The wall's over. I got so much space we made. 48 by 48. That's where the tub's going. Towels will be up to the windowsill all the way around. In the shower, up to the ceiling. I moved the light over. Put the corner beads and everything. Put the door rock on that floor because this was quarter inch because of the the carpet. They put you know quarter inch clean finished plywood down. So I brought it up with that and leveled it out. We're getting there. Just gotta wait for stuff to come. Everything from Home Depot, eBay, you know. All right, so I'll be back with some stuff. All right, starting the tile. Gonna get this area done. Then we'll do the walls and put the tub in. That's where we can take a bath instead of having to use the kids' uh, tub. So always remember the back bed tile makes them ten times stronger. And use a level to put them down. I'm using that little round level. All right, I'll be back. All right, took me about three and a half, about four hours. The cuts, 
bore the holes and drains for the pain. Let tiles are down. Came up to here, we're gonna put a saddle right over that. And that's where the uh, transition will be. I don't know if we're gonna put a saddle there or not yet. My wife's deciding. But I'm hoping she doesn't want it for the saddle. I want a nice clean look. Still waiting for the pan from Home Depot to come. But floor's down, all in there is down too. Yeah. Yeah. You see that right there? Yeah. Yeah. All down over there. Well, I keep coming back. Alright, so it's a couple days later. That's what we're doing here. I back bed the wall and then I uh, notch on you know on the, on the tile, makes it easier. So it's where we are. No, I didn't get the shower base yet. It's coming tomorrow. All right, put the molding on the top because you know they're not very expensive tile, but they're not finished on the edge, so we'll make it nice. Don't worry, you'll see in the end. I'll keep coming back. All right, guess what? Home Depot came to where we are. Get this out of here today. Start putting the basin. So far, I'm into it about a day, maybe a day and a half so far. It's like a day and a half. If I add up all the hours. All right, so me and my wife grouted today. The toilet bowl and the bidet. That's what the two pipes were for. Hot and cold water bidet. She grouted it all up. It's pretty nice. She likes it. I like it. Yeah. Now I gotta cut this floor out. That's how big the shower's gonna be. She wanted these nooks in the wall too. To put candles in. So I make that for her. Still debating whether we go all the way up this little column with the glass tile to the top or just with the gray and just the, you know, match the line with the glass going around there. All right, okay. I cut the pipes and got them ready for the shower. Got a big shower panel going on there with a, you know, massager back and everything. The bathroom looks, actually looks bigger now with the jacuzzi out of it. Well, I didn't get the, once I put the clawfoot tub in there, that outlet, I'm just gonna put a little paint on it because uh, it's gonna be behind the tub anyway. It's connected to that GFI into that switch. New light. The new light here. I'll show you. Turn it on. There's that light. And you can put the night light on. And there's a speaker. A fan. All in one. And it has a remote for when you're in the shower. You can uh you can lower the volume and everything. All right, I'll keep bringing you back. All right, here's where we are. Pan. Styrofoam pan. The membrane. Door rock. I'll do all the seams, the corners, and the edges. Sink is in. Just to make the form, put the concrete. I got the faucet. Uh, it's like day four now, total days four. So I'll bring you back. That pan is sloped, by the way. Slopes in, it's a styrofoam pan. Let me see who makes it, hold on. That's it there. You buy the drain separate. 
All right, four foot tub is in. Got my grandson testing it out. Hey, over here. Hey, don't record me. There's a faucet. There's a feet. Drain. Faucet. Time to tile tomorrow. So there's the curbless. Mosaics are done. Also did the concrete countertop. Got to sand it. The edge didn't come out too good with the uh, molding we used. So we're just going to flatten it out. Make it a square top. Alright, put a shower curtain up for now. It's all done. I just took my first shower in it. It's beautiful. Nice. Nice. Pretty much done. We just gotta sand all the compound, sand it all out, and just gonna paint. And I gotta sand the concrete countertop. I use a torch to get the bubbles out. That's what uh, we came up with. We just went crazy with you know, paintbrush and paint. Yeah, she likes it. All right, there's the barn door kit. Ebay, I paid 25 for this. Yeah. Stays closed. It opens up. It stays open. My wife is not happy with her countertop, so we're going to redo it. Just to paint. We're going to paint it uh, white, gray, and something else. I don't know. Bring you back. Alright, so that's what we came up with. Shelves in the corner and a little soap dish. Keep it simple. I didn't want to make the inserts, you know, cut a square. They tend to leak later on. I like it like that. Alright, this is what we came up with. We got the gray color of the uh, cabinet. Black to match the black. And I put a little bling in it. Can you see the bling in there? The blang blang to match the chrome faucet. The blang blang. See the blang blang? Look at that. Holy macaroni. Woo! Man. That's why my wife loves me so much. Look at that. <laughs> top mic solutions. Bling bling, every time I come around your city, bling bling, pinky ring word about fitty, bling bling, every time I buy a new ride, bling bling, Lorenzo's a yoga hammer tie, bling bling. Alright, I got the barn door off because we painted it. So we're all done. There's the countertop. Bling bling. Today, call for tub, rebuilt, I sealed the holes up, can't tell it's sealed up. Tower racks, the hooks, inserts, shower, the molding on top, recess lighting. All right, so we're done here until we get the shower doors. And I'll bring you back to show you the shower doors. Thanks for watching.